This is the Holden Caterham. Caterham with a difference slightly, in as much that uh, we're in the process of fitting a, a V8 engine. So, a very small car, large engine, lots of heat, and all the associated problems with that. As such, we're going to fit uh, a Kenlo cooling fan, along with an electric water pump. The technicalities of which, uh, Roy will explain <laughs> here now. Basically, both of these devices allow you to run a cooling system independent of the engine. When the engine's driving a fan or a pump, it's taking power out of the engine, and it's dependent on, on the engine speed. Whereas these will become these these two devices will become independent of, uh, of the engine speed, yep. so you can have the fan running fast while the engine is just ticking over. So, uh, it, it's is it, ideal it, in, a, yeah, in, a, in a paddock situation uh, or traffic. Uh, 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 an engine-driven fan actually works the wrong way. It's, it's going slowly when the engine's getting hot, yeah. and, uh, it, it, often anyway. And the same with the, with the electric water pump. Uh, so basically, they, uh, that's what they do. They, uh, they give so you... There's the a, there's a, they don't sap power? No. Uh, by running directly from the crank? Uh, Independent of engine speed, and they can be controlled um, independently w with electronic devices. In this case, you probably wouldn't, because it's virgin out and out race car, and it'll need all the cooling it needs. You can guess. Yes, <laughs> um, absolutely. <laughs> but uh, luckily, they're they're both continuously rated, so uh, they will run all day. Okay, so maybe we could have a look at how easy they are to fit. Yes, uh, we, we can. We can fetch this radiator off okay. and we'll do it on the bench. I think it'll probably be the easiest way. Good. Uh, so, so what we're going to do is mount that on there. comes with a mounting kit mm -hmm. with uh, these... That is directly to the face of the core. Uh, uh, not quite, because it's got little foam pads that sit behind it. Okay. But, but yeah. it, it is actually virtually to, uh, to directly to the face. I suppose yeah. that, you know, the closer it is, then the more efficient it becomes. Of course, yeah. You don't yeah. get any air loss. Yeah. Absolutely, the side, yeah. it all has to go through the radiator. That's yeah. right. It's, it's got these, uh, they're like tie wraps, uh, like a little ratchet yep. that goes through the cores, well, well through, mm -hmm. through the thinning, <laughs> not through the cores. <laughs> um, and um, it, there's a little piece that fits on the back that holds it. it really very simple. And very carefully, all the way through there, it's gone all the way through. So that's one of them. We'll leave that in position. And do the next yeah. one. Yes, Jeremy, you happy yeah, with that? Um, I know these. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Just a gentle. There we go. Right. That comes off. And now we're going to put these little foam pads. On the back. Onto the fan with itself, yeah. So these have got an, e an adhesive back, haven't they? And you pull that off. Like that. There we go. Okay. And those should just fit through there nicely now with a bit of luck. There okay. It really is very simple, isn't it? <laughs> so far. So far, yes. And then these just slip on and rush it along. Pull it up nice and secure and tight. I suppose we ought to spin that to get it straight square. <laughs> it really is very good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it is very straightforward, isn't it? Uh, 
Of course, unless you, you're not going to have a fan control because it's an out and out racing machine, really. Um, you're just going to have the fan running yeah, all I mean, the time. Advised just to yeah, keep yeah, it running yeah, yeah. All, yeah. all the time. Yeah. Yeah, there it does come yeah. with a controller. How would we fit that? In a very similar way to these, you just part the uh, the finning on the radiator and that fits in there. The, the, the full instructions are there. Mm -hmm. Basically, what that will do is switch a fan in and out according to whatever temperature you want to. You can set it to whatever temperature you want to. So we just tidy this up. Chop these off, yeah. Um, you remember my trusty pair of side gutters, yeah? Uh, let's just go off. Back onto the car. Yeah. Nice and flush. It actually does a superbly neat job, doesn't it? So that's it. Fitted. <coughs> really very straightforward. Even for me. <laughs> there it is. One Kenlo fan fitted. Simple, effective, job done. As you can see, in, in the catering now, w with, with everything fitted, there's virtually no room in here at all. We could, it, there's no way we could have fitted a, a water pump in the front here. That's the original water pump that has been removed and it's been welded up where, where, where the actual pulley was uh, and the pipe taken off to head backwards to where the new water pump's going to fit and it gets right away from this very, very tight space that it wouldn't have fitted in. So, of course, it, t today we're dealing with getting rid of the heat, excess heat from inside the, uh, the engine compartment. And another way we can do this is with a product like this, which is exhaust insulating wrap, um, which by wrapping up and insulating the, the, the exhaust manifold, it forces the heat out the back end of the car rather than keeping it inside the engine compartment.